love to see you every day, but now's the time we get to say. Pack up your bags, get out the door, you don't get chemo anymore. On 2006, at the age of 14, Samantha Scourin was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And after being a patient at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, she is now cancer free. She joins us live as we prepare to give away this year's dream home, which is just over 24 hours from now. Samantha, it's good to see you. Samantha and I <laughs> met each other how long ago? Probably, I don't know, five months ago. Yeah, it was a few months ago. You came to Kent State to come visit me. Yes, so I hung out at the sorority house. Felt really cool. Yes. Um, but but let's talk about this. Show. Tell us a little bit about the video we just watched and what that yeah. party was like and what was going on there. So that's the Nomo chemo party. And after you are done with all your rounds of chemo, um, exactly right when that last drop of chemo is in you, they come in with like, um, little pieces of crumbled paper and um, throw it at you and it's just this huge party there's balloons they give you signs and it's just a good feeling to know like you're finally done so that was after 12 weeks of chemo for me so take us back uh, Samantha for those who haven't heard your story back in 2014 and kind of what was going on you're just about to get into your high school years and you get this news tell us about some of the symptoms you're expecting and what it was like when you heard that you had cancer? Yeah, so I had flu-like symptoms um, and we went to the doctor. Um, there's a lot of cancer in my family. My doctor actually treated my cousin who had cancer, so he always knew to kind of keep a special eye on me. Mm -hmm. um, but he treated me for mono and when you do a mono test, it's only um, blood and urine usually, but he did a chest x-ray and for some reason something was telling him to and there was a mass laying on my um, heart and lungs. It was, um, I believe, three inches by five inches. And he was like, I knew something was up. And so immediately we went to, um, I remember Akron Children's and I got tested and it came back Hodgkin's lymphoma stage two, but I knew I wanted to go to St. Jude's. Um, so I didn't get treated at Akron Children's um, and we went directly to St. Jude's. And it was hard because I didn't go to school for the last nine weeks mm. um, of my eighth grade year. So it was challenging transitioning into high school. Um, I wore a wig my first year of high school. Uh, that was hard. And it was hard to transition after my wig because I had this long hair of a wig. And then all of a sudden I have this short hair. Sure. But um, I had a really great support system through it all. So we were looking at pictures uh, with your time at St. Jude. Tell us what it was like for you. It's I say it's like Disney World there. Um, no kid is upset there it's it's so silly um we're all there bald um with head with bandanas or wigs and um everyone's happy there's all the little kids they're going around in wagons and um all the doctors are like family there's so many activities to do there volunteers um it never felt like i was in a hospital um and when i was there i never felt scared or alone mm -hmm. or it was just me and my mom usually. So we're all the way in Memphis, Tennessee, and we're from Youngstown. And it was just me and my mom usually, and I didn't feel alone at all yeah. or thousands of miles away. Samantha, you talk about how thankful you are for St. Jude. You guys still have never received a bill to this day. We always tell our viewers that when we're selling the dream home. So tell us a little bit about that and some of the things. I mean, I have a whole list here. Scans, chemo, radiation. I mean, what else is the yeah. cover? Um, so starting straight out from flying us down, um, if you don't want to fly, they pay for your uh, mileage down there. They pay for, um, every single meal, mm -hmm. um, they pay for you to stay there. Um, that is either short term or long term. Um, they pay for you to have every single scan, every single chemo radiation. I'm a, um, on a survivorship. So for the rest of my life, even though I've been a survivor for, um, so many years, I get to go down for free um, and get all these scans and they fly me down and they check everything. And so this year, my um, it's a little more unique because I am a survivor. So I'm getting not radiation and chemo, but they're checking things for the future for me um, to make sure I'm always healthy. Sure. You talk about how those who donate to St. Jude also helped save your life. And that's exactly what Northeast Ohio did. So what does that mean to you for those who donated and maybe who donate throughout the year? 
Yeah. Not only does it save like my life and other people um, who went to St. Jude, but it saves children who go to different hospitals, for instance, like Akron Children's. My protocol from St. Jude was taken to Akron Children's and Boardman um, because they wanted me to make sure I still had a same um, life at my school and I didn't have to go all the way to Memphis. So Akron Children now uses that protocol um, depending still, but it saves other kids lives around the world. And Samantha, you're still heavily involved with St. Jude. Yes. So yes, t- talk I, a little bit about what you're doing for them. Yeah, I just um, was fundraising for Giving Tuesday um, last month. And then also I used to, I ran for the half marathon for them. Um, I um, still go to the Columbus location and still help them fundraise, with, especially with the Radiothon in Cleveland. Um, I'm always volunteering for them. Um, and I make... I have my sorority sisters help as well um, for the Radiothon. And it's a lot of fun to have them um, see why I want them to help. Absolutely. And you graduate from Kent State next May. We're excited for you. As we wrap this up, do you have big plans? Um, I just want to go in the vet planning um, field for nonprofits, hopefully with St. Jude one day. That's awesome. Samantha, so good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you for telling your story. Thanks. All right, we'll check back with you. So again, the 2020 Fox 8 St. Jude Dream Home is finished. You can take a virtual tour of the Olmstead Falls home just by going to seen on TV at fox8.com. Again, the four bedroom modern French country home was built by Cleveland Custom Homes. So tune in Fox 8 News in the morning tomorrow when one lucky ticket holder will win the new home, a new car from Nick Abraham Auto Mall, a spa from Lighthouse Pools and Spas, and many other terrific prizes will be given away. Awesome. We are looking forward to tomorrow. We love Samantha. She's been wonderful with this whole project.